guys, today I wanted to film a video for you testing out a whole bunch of the new NYX products that just came out. I just recently went to the Beauty Drop in LA. They flew me out for that and I do have a vlog of that if you guys wanna watch it. And they gave us a big goodie bag full of all of the new launches that they just brought out. There's not a full face of makeup in here but there's a heck of a lot of products in here so I'm gonna give a lot of them a try, do some swatches, do makeup looks with them and I will let you guys know what I think about them. I was in the Face Awards last year. I work with them all the time. I'm also considered one of their brand ambassadors. That doesn't mean anything as far as my review goes. If I don't like the product, I will be 100% honest with you. And you can rest assured that that's the truth because did you watch my products I hate video? Just because I work with a brand personally does not mean that I have to like every product that they come out with and they respect that. So I appreciate the shit out of it. I'm gonna talk to you guys about these new products and we're gonna give them a shot because I'm so excited to try these. So there is no new foundation in here. So I'm gonna apply my foundation. I'm gonna do a separate foundation review. It's not gonna be a NYX product. So I'm gonna go apply my foundation and I will be right back. Huh, okay, so the first thing I'm seeing here in this NYX pile is the This Is Everything Lip Oil. Now this packaging is so cute. It's like a really metallic pink. And apparently this is new decadent formula that drizzles your pout with the, drizzles your pout? Mm. With the perfect amount of shine. This luxurious lippy is enriched with a unique blend of oils including almond, avocado, rose hip, jojoba, and features a lively vanilla cherry blossom scent. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, that is freaking lovely feeling. Super glossy without any stickiness. It literally just feels like a soft gliding oil. Oh my God, I love this. It's gonna go straight into my purse. So let's take a look at some of these products before I dive into using them to see what they launched. All right, so we've got these Contour Intuitive palettes. Dare to define and enhance your features in color with our Contour Intuitive eye and face sculpting palette, featuring six velvety eyeshadows, two pearly highlighters, and one blush. Each dreamy set of illuminating shades is designed to work for every angle of your gorgeous face. Thanks. Mix and match any of these highly pigmented and versatile powders for a sculpted glow. So we've got this one here, Plum Metals, Warm Zone, Jewel Queen, and Amplify. I think of all of these, the one that really draws me in, so either Plum Metals here or Warm Zone here. These contour sets are $18 a piece. Oh, by the way, this video is totally not sponsored. They did not ask me to make this, nor do they know that I am making it. So then we have these NYX Perfect Filter Palettes. This one is called Golden Hour, Rustic Antique, Olive You, oh, Gloomy Days, Marine Layer. Then they came out with a whole bunch of liquid suede colors and there is a whole bunch in here because I said a whole bunch already. I love the liquid suedes. I'm not a fan of the lip lingeries, but I love the liquid suedes. Super clicky satin matte lipstick. Ooh, so basically they're like a click down little pen. You can see the little clicky at the end there and you click the lipstick down. They're $9 a piece and it says here, raise your squad goals with the super clicky satin matte lipstick. Our Beyond Creamy Bestie comes with 12 richly pigmented shades that leave lips with a satin matte finish. Featuring a super soft teardrop shaped bullet that hugs your lips. This lippy also makes it easier for you to precisely line that pretty pout. Need a little more lip color? Give that clicker a push to dispense the perfect amount of lipstick. There's a bunch of cool colors in here too, so I am excited to play with these. These are the NYX Lid Lingerie Shadow Palette, and these are $10 a piece, LLSP01. Oh, and this is the Cosmic Meadows Palette. And these are what I'm the most excited to try out because I saw these online and they look so bomb. And these are the new That's The Point eyeliners. So these say, if you can dream it, you can draw it. Define your eyes like never before with the That's The Point eyeliner. This pro level collection of rich black eyeliners provides a satin matte finish and features seven incredible felt tips. From paddle shape to small and sharply angled, each pen has an entirely different and unique applicator for achieving maximum precision across an eclectic range of liner looks. Those are 10 bucks a piece. So we have on the dot, which is like this interesting little dot point. That'd be cool for like Halloween looks or like getting little dots on the inner corners and stuff. This one's called a bit edgy. That one's kind of like a little flat edgy guy. This one's called quite the bender. Put a wing on it. Cause if you like a bench to put a wing on it. And this one's called super edgy. I am so freaking excited to try these. These are called Epic Ink Lip Dye. Drench your kiss in knockout color. A 
stroke of epic ink lip dye coats lips with a downright dramatic stain. Super saturated and lightweight. Our formula dries to a matte finish. The stunning lip dye is an absolute makeup bag must have. Rock it alone for an effortless vibrant look or give your favorite lippies a boost by wearing it under a similar shade. Huh. There's a bunch of new pinup pouts too, which are a bunch of other lipsticks. So let's see what these are like here. We've got some nudes, reds, a purple. I really wanna go for a red lip I think today. I'm not sure though. So I'm gonna do my brows off camera real quick with just like my normal brow products. I'm probably just gonna use the Anastasia Taupe and I will be right back. So I wanna start off by using some of these eyeliner pencils. Now what I wanna do today is a look similar to what James Charles just did. He's so good at makeup and I really love the look he did. He did this like smoky winged outliner. So I am going to use these NYX pencil pen things. So I think these are the three that I'm gonna try right now. I definitely am gonna use that little, that's the point one though, like that little dot guy. I'm gonna use that guy soon. I don't know about today, but maybe, we'll see. So the first one I'm gonna start off, oh, it's a big ass chunky guy. Put a wing on it. It does skip a bit because it's a marker. trying to do a very straight wing today and not go up. That was really easy to do that line though. I think if you're a beginner, this would really help you because it's like using a pen. It's almost like drawing on your face with a Sharpie. Okay, so for the outer wing, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this pen and then I'm gonna go in with the different ones just to kind of give them a try and see how they work. But for that big wing, that was relatively quick. I do find this pen a little chunky, but again, this is meant for that big giant wing. So now I'm gonna go in with the next one, which is the a bit edgy. This says here, the classic black eyeliner features a thin and sharply angled felt tip that will make a fave amongst the small lidded. So this is what the tip of this one looks like. See how that just happened? It kind of skips a little bit. I feel like saying razor thin line is a little misleading for this, but you can, it is nice and precise. But now I'm gonna have to clean that up and I'm gonna try it with this other one here. And this one's called Quite the Bender. a little choppy, you see? I'm more of a brush tip ass bitch. Super edgy. Trying. So I feel like that one definitely gave more of a straight line. Quite a bit more. That creates that top line really easily though. And if you need to get into that super inner corner area, you can just kind of stamp it on and then fill in below that. So I feel like these were a little difficult to work with. I think if you're a beginner, you're gonna like them better than like a liquid liner that that brush just kind of flings all over the place. For me, I just feel like I'm more of a liquid liner with a brush tip type of person, but these aren't bad and I actually think they're pretty cool. So I'm gonna try both of these palettes. I'm gonna try the Plum Metals and then the warm zone. I wanna try both because they each have colors that the other one doesn't, so I'm gonna give it a shot and see what I can pull together. So I'm gonna go in first with the warm zone palette and I'm going to use this shade here. I'm gonna kinda of try to blow out that liner. I've done this in the past with like a cranberry color, but I didn't put the liner down first, so we'll see. I feel like the colors are nice and pigmented and pretty. So I'm gonna need to go in with a smaller little detailed brush and I need something black. So I'm gonna go in with this perfect filter palette in the gloomy days and I'm gonna go in with this black shade here on my little Smith 304 brush. I'm just gonna smoke out that liner.
So in this palette is like this grayish shade here. And I'm gonna take that and just kind of blend over the edges with that. Okay, these are not perfect, but I don't have time to sit here and fuck with these anymore, so I'm gonna move on. Uh, I don't have a new NYX black eye pencil, but I'm gonna use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean, because that's all I have. I'm gonna run that gray color underneath my lower lash line. Definitely not perfect blending, but it's honestly like the best I can do right now. So I'm gonna put on a pair of lashes and I will be right back. That's the eyes done. I still have to put mascara on my lashes to kind of melt them together with these ones, but I have to wait for the glue to fully dry. I think the one I'm drawn to the most as far as highlight and blush goes is the Plum Metals palette here. So I'm gonna go in with the blush real quick. Blush is always kind of good, you know what I mean? Like if you ever met a shitty blush, it's a little pigmented, frankly. Maybe that is, maybe that is. So I think I applied a little too much. It looks really pigmented, but honestly, fuck it. So I'm gonna go in with the highlighters and I'm gonna use both of these shades here. Quite pretty. Really nice highlighter. I think that palette's really nice, frankly. I just wanna leave this on my lips, but honestly, I gotta try some of the lip products. So I'm gonna give one of these lipsticks a try. I'm gonna try this nude one first, then I'll go in with some reds. I'm gonna give some shit a try, okay? But I feel like this could use a red, but I wanna try this one first. And this is, oh, it's on the top of the lid. NYX. NYX put the color on the top of the lid. So when you put it in, it doesn't have to be upside down. That is freaking smart. Okay, this color is sophisticated. So that color's pretty. It's not really my cup of tea. I'm not really into the warm tone nudes like this. And it's a little dark of a nude for me, so I'm taking it off. This color is called Fiery. Mm, smells good. This is the shade Fiery. Very comfortable on the lips. I prefer a lipstick to a liquid lipstick any day of the week. The formula of these lipsticks is very much just a traditional lipstick. Like there's nothing crazy about it, but it's nice, you know? Lipsticks are pretty universally good. I really wanna try these super clicky guys. There we go. The pigment in these, oh my God. Okay, the pigment in these is fucking amazing and they glide on so good. These I like. They literally feel like velvet. It's so weird. They feel so nice on the lips. Wow, like really, really nice. Dry, but not drying. Okay, these are really good. Really good, I really like these. The color of my lips right now that you see has no product on it, so those stain quite a bit. Now these ones are stains, they're called Epic Ink Lip Dye. So let's give these a chance. This is the color Revolt. <gasps> Ooh, okay. They're like the consistency of water. Okay, these are pretty neat. They feel super liquidy. Like, I want them to dry so I can tell you like a real first impression on how I feel about this, but they feel super liquidy. I'm talking water. Right now, as I sit here, it actually feels like I have nothing on my lips. Nothing. Okay, these literally might be my new favorite lip product. I don't know yet because I've not worn it for a full day. Nothing. This is probably the most comfortable thing I've ever worn on my lips, ever. It feels like nothing. 
How does it feel like nothing? Oh my God, right now, this is so comfortable. All right, so my first impression on all these products is very, very good. I feel like everything performed really well. I really like the eyeshadows. I feel like that black, especially in that palette, is amazing. NYX black eyeshadows are awesome. Like if you've ever tried the hot black, it has a lot of fallout, but oh my God, is it an amazing, amazing, amazing eyeshadow. It's the blackest one I've ever used. These eyeliner pens, I feel like are better suited for beginners who just want to try eyeliner. You don't really know. It's hard for you to work with like a flicky pen, but this, I feel like you get it. It's just like drawing it on with a pen. So it is easier, but for me, it took a lot more finesse because it does skip, which shit happens. Wow, I'm blown away at this one especially. This is the Epic Ink lip dye and again this is the color revolt it comes in a whole bunch of other colors as well so you can definitely find a color that you want the click stick pens they feel amazing on the lips it's the weirdest feeling it actually feels like you like laid a piece of velvet on your lips and you're like rubbing them together it's so soft i i can't even explain it it's not like a regular lipstick where it feels creamy it feels like silk rubbing on silk it's the weirdest feeling but i really like it the perfect filter shadow palette was good with the black that I used and I feel like the colors in there are not like my absolute favorite but honestly some of these are really pretty especially think the most popular one is going to be this rustic antique palette because you know warm tone shades also this one is nice and neutral and this is golden hour I feel like that's going to be popular too and then this one kind of reminds me of Natasha Denona palette so you never freaking know, man. I think my favorite of everything I tried is definitely this lip product. I'm over the moon about it. To find something so comfortable that doesn't transfer, that doesn't look too dry, it actually has kind of a nice shine to it, is amazing. I am shocked right now and very happy. So hell the fuck yeah. Oh, my favorite product is actually this. This is awesome. This is the This Is Everything Lip Oil. Oh my God. This shit I'm not even gonna use going straight in my purse. You guys know I love a glossy, just nothing lip and I'm probably going to be wearing this every single day and I'm gonna be like hey Nick's gonna have 47 more of these things it's a very rare day in hell that every product pretty much works for me but all of these did I'm not gonna try the liquid suede's out because I know I like them the lip suede's in general are just a good formula and I really like them so honestly I don't even need to try them I actually wore them the whole time when I was in LA at the NYX event I wore a MAC lip liner I wore whirl and then I put the NYX lip suede in sandstorm over the top and then I threw some bobby brown gloss over that and I'm not even kidding you it did not budge and I wore it for like eight hours it looked perfect after eight hours it's literally like I had just put it on and that is my final review everything is great I'm very pleased good job NYX all right I hope you guys like this video I hope it was somewhat interesting for you but we found some winners and uh, I'm really excited for these launches. I will have everything linked in the description of this video if you guys do want to check anything out make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet we are so close to like 120,000 subscribers. We might even be there by the time I post this video. Who even knows? I just hit 100,000 subscribers like last week. I don't even know how this is real. Also, if you guys are not yet, you can follow me on all my other social media. Everything is Raw Beauty Christy. Also, if you guys do like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know if there's any other one brand, you know, first impressions, tutorials, new launches, things you guys want me to try. As of right now, tomorrow and coming in the mail should be my Sephora Pro Palette. It is the bright, colorful one. So there's gonna be some colorful looks and a full in-depth, no bullshit, honest review coming on that palette. Also, I've got the Bosha, little jelly ball cleansing thing coming in the mail and I'm going to give that a shot as well on like my hard to take off makeup and we'll see how that shit works and I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and I will see you at my next video bye hey guys today I wanted to do something that I have not tried yet well yeah I kind of have actually just because I work with a brand doesn't mean that I don't <laughs> these are dare to define dare to define I just spit everywhere. Dare to define and enhance your features in color with our, can I read? With our contour initi initiative. Warm zone or, so either warm or, uh. oh, thank God those were lip products. Oh my God. Gloomy days. Okay, focus, you bitch. Oh, and then the final product that I think I'm gonna try today that I have not tried yet. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with my lips, okay? These are called, God. So I've already got my like, my like eyes primed. No, my actual eyes primed. Okay, so I'm screaming. Okay, um. Oh, 
this is recording. <laughs>